In this video I'm going to help you out with that courgette glatte and show you an amazing recipe for cheesy courgette fries in the Instant Pot Duo Crisp. Welcome back and if you've not been here before I'm Susan and on this channel we're all about learning how to live a lower cost life by growing food, by cooking economically and creatively and finding simple ways of reducing our costs. And this is one of a series of videos about the Instant Pot Duo Crisp with air fryer and it's also right in season now as I'm going to help you manage all all of those courgettes or zucchini that are probably harvesting away in your kitchen gardens or allotments right now. So in last year's courgette videos I used a spiralizer to do a little take on fritters and getting them more crunchy so have a look at that video if you haven't seen it and today I'm making these courgette fries in my new Instant Pot Duo Crisp but you'll be able to do these in any air fryer and if you haven't got an air fryer you can do these in the oven I don't think they ever get quite as crisp as these I'm going to show you but they do taste lovely and a little tip I always use panko breadcrumbs for these it makes a massive massive difference to the crunchiness and you can serve them with mayonnaise or ketchup or my favorite sriracha sauce uh, or as Mr. Grown Frugal says why not all of them together okay so let's try out these instant pot fries in the air fryer so what I'm using for this is one white serpent squash which is just like a courgette and I'm going to peel that and chop it in a minute that's fresh out of the garden this morning and then we've got some seasoned flour and I'm going to add some paprika to that to season it a little more and then we've got some panko breadcrumbs mixed with parmesan and then we've got an egg to beat and just salt and pepper and that's it it's going to be very simple so let's start So there's two minutes left and we'll see what they're like at eight minutes and then just adjust from there and that's one of the brilliant things about the air fryer is that you, all you're doing is actually taking the lid off, testing your food and then putting the lid back on again. There's no need to reset any dials or anything, it just remembers where you are up to and if you do leave the lid off too long it even beeps at you to tell you to put the lid back on. So it's really just like opening an oven door and checking your food and oh. Here we go, we're on the eight minutes. Let's have a look. Ooh, those are looking pretty good. Oh, and they're not stuck too much either, that's good. I think I'll just give them maybe two more minutes. I'm getting nervous now in case I'm overdoing them. So if you get nervous, just lift the lid and have a peek. They're fine. These are looking gorgeous. Let's get one out and try it. 
Oh, I'm lucky they haven't stuck. Oh, ouch, ouch. Oh, they're looking wonderful. Can you hear the crisp? I'm going to dip this in a bit of sriracha, which is one of my favourite chilli sauces. Oh, they're amazing. Really crispy. Oh, too hot. <laughs> very, very hot. These are amazing. So crispy and delicious. And that recipe is definitely a keeper and I'll be doing that a lot this summer. So subscribe if you'd like to see more of my recipes on using up seasonal foods and testing out this amazing Instant Pot Duo Crisp with Air Fryer. And I'll see you next time.